feeling this morning? I feel pretty good, man, you know. Not too emotionally geeked out. I know what we got to do. We're going to go fish our morning spot, and then from then on out, I'm going to pick that jig up and go to work. I'm not going to ride around and look for deep schools. I've burned a lot of time up the last two days doing that, trying to find more places. And ain't going to fight it today. I'm going to pick that jig up after that and go to work. Whatever we need done after that. So my goal was to go up here and just get a few bites. You know, go up here and catch some, settle down, just kind of get in the groove, drag that worm slow. And I think that's what you got to do here is try to fish slow and don't try to fish too much. Then go flipping. Pitch it, flip it, pitch it, flip it. When it tangles, swack on them. Look at Lulu and her camera. She's trying to outdo you. <laughs> Look at them camera girls. We got one that wants to outdo Dagum Sago with that long lens. And one over there trying to outdo Wes Miller with that fuzzy sound barrier, flip screen, drones, and a pink purse. These two are something else. There goes one right there and them flying mosquitoes. Get a handle on him, son. That's a good one to start right, today. Zeros. All right, let's see. Five. It's going to do that again today. Five one. Five one. Five one. Here we go. That's a good start. It's a good start. Horrible job landing. What a good start. He got me around something. I think I got him. I don't know where he is. I'm just reeling, man. You don't feel that big, but I ain't gonna. Yeah, he's pretty big. Three seven. Three seven. We got him way. That's how it matters. Big and giant, dude. Giant. I says, gee, why do you always throw that spot remover head? Not one with a 42 inch hook. Because it works. Zeros. Let's go for seven. Come on, baby, go seven. You might not, but I think you would. Close. Six and a half. 
610. 610. He's long. You want to measure him? I know he won't, but I'll check him. He's long. Yeah. Just to say we got to measure one. God, he is long. What is he? 24? Three and a half. Three and a half. That's so close. <laughs> Six foot. What'd you have him at? How Six about? 6'10. Drug it in there real slow and he he did that tick 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 and I said no you're not gonna tick 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 on my time I took tick tick you back I didn't have that much line either bro I was like don't black out and jerk too hard don't black out and jerk too hard <laughs> so he's, he's telling myself just 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 don't black out and jerk too hard now just just keep it together so we got three from Three for 15 pounds. It's not, bad. not a bad start. Good. Stay out there, man. Ain't gonna need to act in a boat. No, 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 you're going away from me. You're going away from me. You just gotta have him on big hands. Grip him like an old football. <clears throat> Come on, four. Hold on a sec, hold on. Let me get it zeroed. Okay, we're good. Four pounds, two ounces. Four, two. We'll take him all day long, baby. Or two. We we rolled them back. So now we got five four for nineteen. We had three for fifteen. I'll have to let my phone add it up. I'm not that sure. So, hey son, if I had to count that high, you want to take my shoes off. <laughs> Boy T. Got me wrapped up. I got him out. I got him out. I got him out. What we got here? What we got here? He'll keep, but that's all he is, but he'll keep. Hey. Okay, all zeros. Two pounds, nine ounces. Two nine, two nine. That puts us over 20. And I thought if I caught 20 today, I could fish tomorrow. Thought if I caught 25 to 27, I'd have a chance. Lee Livis, he ain't gonna stumble. So why are you gonna catch him, Mr. Ketchum? Two nine is your small. Two nine is a small. Five bass, weighing about. Hey, good game, coach. That's my signature series move. I like to keep you, keep you judges. <laughs> and you smiled kind of big. I might want to take that one back. Oh, you were from Texas. Six. Four six. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Get in there, We're gaining. 
So we just called a 2 9. Small's a 3 7. Alright. There he is. Begging. Begging. Stay on, baby. It's coming up. Stay on. Stay on. It's a big begging. That's a game changer. <sighs> Dude, they just after 25 foot of water. I mean. Ready? It's a six right there. All right. Six four. Six four. That's a good one right there. That's a good one. And we gained two pounds right then. Uh, six four. <laughs> I said that's old bigs right there, son. <laughs> I'm winding a 14 pound club right there. I'm having to throw it on a barred flipping stick. I don't even have nothing to be. I mean, I, I'm like. I'm a DT20 guy, you know. I like a DT20 16. Sometime out here they get crazy. Whew. Now we're doing something. We ain't done yet, neither boys. We ain't done yet. We're gonna get our boat back over in position. Hey, it's just a little slower during the day, but it'll come around. What that move is to? 28-2. One more and we've jumped to dirty 30. One more then I think we'll, we'll touch 30. in the top of the brain cells. You see me swap over that rod, that's a seven foot nine fade rod. That's a 13 hundred dollar rod, super soft, I think, just in case. That rod I was trying to throw this is too stiff, because you gotta be fine. Six. Five six. We gained a full pound. Five six. Let him back. On cue, son. That's my boys right there. Me and him go way back. I knew he was pulling, boys. I just tell you, that joker was pulling like I done done something wrong and. I just swapped a super, super soft, a seven foot nine rod by 13. It's a fate, it's called fate. And it's a, 
it's a lower line rod as far as cost wise but it's super soft real parabolic and i thought i'm gonna try only got 14 on there but i was just afraid after catching that big one the six pounder i'm like i better go to a softer rod just in case and that look what happened i hooked him in top of the head rod was forgiven it took me a while to get him in but we got him. five pounder five and a quarter hooked in the head all right boys he's got to be a nine here I'm mixed, man. I mean, I got over 29. I couldn't break dirty 30. Pretty happy with what I got, but I got that weird feeling that that was not that good today. So I'm on. I'm gonna hope for the best. I just. I mean, we didn't lose any. We didn't make any mistakes. So I'm gonna say that we did all we could do today. That doesn't mean we don't. I, I think we're gonna be all right to fish tomorrow. We'll just see. You know. Well. I'm hoping that I stay inside the top five where you still got a chance to to win. But, you know, just kind of run what we did again this morning, go back to that same area, do that again. And then, you know, we went and found some fish biting a big plug deep, and that, we was able to catch a few there and help us. So I feel pretty good about having some fish to catch tomorrow. Don't feel real good about how good we did today. Man. When you're not on live much, it means you're either doing something really bad. So I'm like, that's just the fisherman in you, but let's go. I mean, we'll know here in a minute. I mean, as soon as I check in, I don't know. I mean, the next flight's 20 minutes behind us, so there's not a lot gonna change in the next 20 minutes, you know. So we have had 29, seven i got 29 two today and i had 22 five so i think that puts us at over 80 pounds 81 pounds total i think nothing else maybe i catch 20 tomorrow if i catch 19 tomorrow to get over the century mark i've got one belt and i'd like to do that again that's one of my coolest trophies i ever got is getting over the century mark in a tournament so all you can ask for is to go in the last day so that's kind of a two goal opposition i have for tomorrow yes i've I'm coming here to fish to win, and I know the guys that's in front of me, Lee Livesey and, and Brandon and, and Brian New and the guys all around, so they're going to catch them, you know. But uh, you focus on that, but also focus on trying to trying to break that century mark. I mean, why not? You're already in it. <laughs> Might as well just keep slinging it. So we're going to rig up a rod. So we're going to go drag that big worm tomorrow, uh, mix it up with a DT-10 in there a little bit today. was able to catch some fish on it. And then we're going to... We're gonna get out that old big rotor rooter plug and that big worm, we're gonna drag it around deep, you know. That's all you can do. Hope y'all enjoyed riding with me. Everybody enjoyed watching Fox and, and checking out the our Fox Sports, you know, seeing what the fishing's like. I've enjoyed it, so peace out, guys. show out and get the 35 pound bag and it's doable here you can make it interesting i think it's uh you know it'd be cool to break the century mark again i've only done it one time uh, in my career bass and i would like to do it one more time so now tomorrow i got a chance to get over 100 pounds and we should have a great shootout for you people to watch on fox sports and all the fans it's going to be interesting but 
Lee Livingston to Marshall and the Prodigy is pretty hard to run down. Even though BP's got little short legs, he moves pretty quick on the water. <laughs> well, I mean, this crowd doesn't want anyone to win this tournament by Lee Livesey. But I'm going to tell you, in the bass fishing community, if anybody's going to beat Lee Livesey, the bass fishing world would love to see Gerald Swindle become an Elite Series champion. I can tell you right now, if, if I were to win this tournament, I'd have to shoot my way out of this place. I, I don't know if y'all looked at Lee Livingston. He's a pretty big old fella, and half his family back there is pretty big fellas, too. And the women look like they'd cut you with a beer bottle. So I, I, I don't know. It's, I have mixed emotions. If I said you won, I'd tell Lulu, I said, just bring the truck through here about 100, and I'll just dive through the sunroof with scratch out slinging rocks. But what a, what a great event to be chasing Lee and Brandon at, uh, to be out there today and doing this. And, and to be able to catch big fish. Lake Fork fish is tough. It's very aggravating because of the logs and the storms, but it does have big ones in there, and I've never fished anywhere where you can keep the adrenaline all day thinking my next flip with a jig could be a 10-pounder. So to me, that's kind of a cool day of fishing when you just really never get out of it. Having a great tournament. Can't wait to see it go down tomorrow morning. Lift your head just a tad. Yeah, there you go. He's the Start in the same area I've been starting in, and, and uh, I'm gonna grind her down here, see how many bites I can get. Then uh, I'm not gonna stay here, you know. If I can catch five here, get what I think the base started, I'll just take off running. I found another school yesterday afternoon that started biting, and I think some of my water I've been wanting to fish is gonna open up, so I feel pretty good about it. It's a uh, little bit of a north wind. It really could fire them up. It could. Uh, could influence the shad spawn this morning and make them bite better. So I'm looking at it as a, in a positive way that weather change could be good, you know, could be good. Just doing a little idle through our timber to get in here. And this place is eight to 10 foot deep and it's rocks and brim. And I mean, there's a really good chance if shad could have got back on this rough place and, and be spawning this morning and that'd make it real good. That in twenty eyes, didn't Two thirteen. Two thirteen. It's on the board a little bit anyway. He's pissed too. That's the size we're looking for, but I just don't want to miss no more. Alright. Ready? Hold on. Okay, got it. Three pounds, one ounce. Three one. Three one, not no fours, but these are three. Three one. Still got him. Still got him. Still got him. Just think he come off. No, I think that's him I see pegged on that log. Still that. We got him. Wasn't much to him, but we got him. With a piece of line hanging out of his mouth. Already been broke off. Zeros. Two pounds, seven ounces. Two seven. <clears throat> Two seven. Hmm. I didn't know what I had. I knew it was over something. I was pulling on it. 
Let's just get to five and then we'll work on what we gotta do. We slowly gain it. But we fixed the gain a little more. I think we might gain a little bit, I don't know. I don't know where them big ones is at, but they proving hard to find. Just hadn't had any big bites. Ready? There we go. Two pounds, eight ounces. Two eight. Did we gain anything? No. A couple of ounces. Well, that was our main. It was a two six you just called. All right. Pour it in here on that brim bed. Several big brim beds right out there. Kind of come in here on it, but I. Any other time, that would have been an old big, big one, but I don't know. Got to be some more big ones around in brim beds. I caught the same size deep in 15, 20 foot of mango. So I was going to run these two brim beds on this clay point. I'm going to check a deep spot out here that I caught two big ones yesterday evening. And then I'm going to go right back to where I started, back in the timber on that shallow road and them brim beds. I never had a bite there this morning. There's a lot of fish here swimming around. You never know, you might go back in there, but light it up. But I'm gonna make sure there ain't some more on that prim bed. I throw it all the way to it and I shook it. I, oh, there's a bite. That's a big one. That's a big one. Six thirteen. Six thirteen. He ain't going to but I'll check it. That's the TV purpose. He's a bowl of money, about 22 inches. Oh, that's real close. Whew. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, son, the whole brim beds. They'll get you well in a hurry. All right. I don't think that's all the fish is there. They ain't got it. As soon as I get it in the bed, they get it, so. All right. So what do we call out right then, a 2.8? We just called the 2.7. All right. What that give us totally you wrecked them? Old big worm, three quarter ounce shaker here. Dragging it on them brims, you know. Big trick worm just. I'm not real sure, but I think I just broke the century mark. I think you have one more ounce to do it. You gotta be kidding me. I think we were at, we were at 80, 14, right? Yeah. You need a 19.2. I got. You got some work to do yet. I got 19.1. We, we ain't quitting yet. So what I got total? 99.15. 99.15. God almighty. Well. All right. One ounce, really? You couldn't say the fish was 6.15. I mean, good God. I don't want you to quit yet. I like one ounce breaking 100 pounds. One ounce. Come on. Ah, pisses me off. He could have weighed one ounce more. There you go. Woo! Now we got the Citra Club, baby. Now we got the Citra Club. Woo! Yeah. Woo! I'm 
control over that face. Swam that jig by that. That's that gut instinct for you right there. Did you see me running? I was like, he's fat. Four pounds, 11 ounces. Four left. Woo! Woo! Got it. Got it. Got it, baby. Citrus Club, take it down. Woo! I told him that I got kicked in the ass. <laughs> I don't know what else I'd have done different, man. I mean, my best chance to win was if they buy it on that place and get a pair of caught all that weight on it. I mean, you can't bail on it too quick. I, I, they just didn't, I never had a bite in there today. You know, missed a few bites flipping trees, but it wasn't life or death. I don't think any of them was giants. Just kind of pecked around and caught a limit, and then, you know, from there, I just, just kind of put something together. You know, it'd been easy to say, oh, should've just grabbed a big top water and ran points all day. Well, yeah, you could, and you could've not caught nothing. So I I done what I knew to do, you know, throwing a big zoom trick worm, old monster, you know, flipping a jig, that's all you can do. And, and you, you fish your game and your strength, and Lee Livesey wins, and Brandon wins, whoever wins, and good, dude, they earned it. I mean, it ain't like we just rolled over, we, we caught over 21 pounds. And broke sentry mark, so and we got a hook in her hand. And I figured out that Bob likes it when you pat him on the rear end. It's a bad day, Ma. Man, I'm, I'm uh, see, I told you he liked it. I told you he liked it. You ain't trying to talk to your wife and kids, huh? What'd you do for a living? See, I knew it. Cyber security. He's been looking up hot male fishermen like myself. <laughs> Caught me a 613 on the next stop after y'all left. I was editing the subway, I thought Papa was And then I caught, he said, you had 99.15, and then with 11 minutes left, I caught a 411 and got over there. And tied with Brandon, and he beat me because that sucker's got the biggest bag of them. Good luck, Jake. Thanks, brother. Oh, we just, we just doing what we do. He's a 19-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a Bassmaster Open winner, a two-time Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Guntersville, Alabama, the incomparable D-Man, Gerald Swindoll! 80 pounds, 14 ounces as of this morning, needs 19-12 to take the lead. Five fish here today. 21 pounds, four ounces, 21-4, a brand new leader and another member of the Century Club with 102 pounds, two ounces. Hey, I hate to take you out of the seat. <laughs> Gee, at the end of this, I need you to give Brian News some kind of how to get the audience on your side lessons, but we'll, we'll deal with that after. But I am so happy to see you in the Century Club because I've been checking Bass Track hour after hour for the last little yeah. four, like till like a few minutes ago you were at 99 pounds 15 ounces but obviously you made a call somewhere along the way and it worked out that's like somebody i, I caught one away like 613 and i'm like man i broke the century club didn't it? he sat there for a minute and old bob i patted him on the butt yesterday and when he smiled at me so i've been scared of him ever since <laughs> I did that on the second day. I patted that guy on the butt, and he jumped. So, man, him still cool. But Bob, he leaned back and smiled. I said, hey. And Bob just stared at me. He said, no, nah, you got 99.15. I said, that's like you just kicked my dog and kissed my wife at the same time. I said, don't worry. We're going to get this. And, like, four casts later, I jumped off a three or four pounder, and it was, like, the only fish I jumped off all week. And I'm like, boy, this is going to really go down at not, not good, like eating that gravel on a bicycle if I don't catch one. And dude, I started, and I mean, I grinded, I grinded, I dig, I was digging, I was digging. And I come running back in, I had like 12 minutes left to fish, and I seen a dock over here by the ramp, and I just like, my gut instinct said, run over there, and I run over there, and I was like, it's three foot deep, picked my flipping stick up, swam my jig down the side of it, caught a 411, I said, you know what? I may not have nothing for Lee Livesey, but I broke that 100 pound mark. I, I didn't want to come up one out short. Now. What you don't do is say you don't like Lake Fork or Lee Livesey. And I, I, 
I've been studying Texas all day. I said, you know, a lot of people's always told me don't mess with Texas, and I understand why now, because y'all put Mother Nature on them, son. I'll just tell you what y'all do. Because the wind blows around here like a van load of politicians all day long. I, it comes every direction, left, right, down the middle. I've hit stumps, ping pong, mold, bad knees. They've popped and creeped and wobbled around there. Guy said, you all right? And I said, do I look all right? I said, I had an uncle who was a drunk. His name Earl. And I said, later today, I'm Earl. I'm just bouncing around on them stumps, you know. You think you're going to make a flip and you hit one of them stumps, and you, then you need a dude wipe. you got to stop for a minute. He said, you, I said, dude, that scared me. I mean, and I... I ate some jalapenos, so I just ain't feeling good, you know. Y'all act like y'all ain't never done that, but you ain't never. Y'all never went fishing and come in with one sock. You'll understand why I'm sponsored by Dude Wipes. Yeah. I was married for seven years. My wife thought I wore one sock hunting forever. She said, does that one foot not get cold? I said, it's a long story, honey. <laughs> and then she seen a T-shirt with no sleeve in it. She said, I'm starting to figure you out, honey. I said, yep. You've never lived, you've been 30 foot high in a millennium tree stand and it hit like that and you look like a gray squirrel coming all the way down at Bart just flying. <laughs> You're like, well, I'm done with this hunting spot. Well, that's kind of how I am about some of the places I fished. Lake Fork is a great lake. I, I'm going to have to disagree with uh, Santee Cooper's good about 16 minutes a year. And if, if you hit that 16 minute bite window when every fishing lake's on bed, it's awesome. If you ever go there any other time, you're going to think it's the Dead Sea. Now, it does have harder stumps than y'all got, believe it or not. I done about $15,000 worth of damage up there, and here I'm at 11. So right now, Santee's are leading in destruction of fiberglass. You know, I'm gonna need to get mine fixed up. But I, it's a wonderful crowd to see everybody come out. It's cool to be in a town and, and be in a race to win a tournament like this, uh, chasing somebody with such a fan base on this place like Lee Livesey. It just, I get caught up in it, you know. I, I, I respect Lee as an angler a whole bunch and, and BP also, but to see the family and all that, you like, it just gets that energy up. You like, these guys love fishing, and that's what it's all about. When you can fish at home with that kind of support, it doesn't get any better. Shout out to all you guys for hanging out with Lee. I, I don't know if I'll ever beat him here. I fished 31 tournaments here. It's the first time I ever made the top 10, so I'd like to tell y'all I'm going to come back next year and rail them, but I usually don't, so don't. Don't put me on your fantasy team to y'all talk to Lulu. Thanks again for having us, Lake Fork. It's been great to us. Me and Lulu headed home. Just glad we got over the 100 pound mark. Before you load our Yeti hot seat, I gotta let you know, there's been less than 50 anglers, 50 times there's been a century belt in Bassmaster competition. You've done it not once, but twice. A two-time Century Club member, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Gerald hey, Swindle. Great tournament, brother. Yeah. Great tournament. Yeah. And with that, we better... Oh, he took his blanket, right? Yeah, uh, blanket. He's going to need that, trust me. Wait on that young guy there. Let's let him sit out there. His wife's about to have a baby. If we sit here long enough, maybe the dinger will go off and he'll have to go home and, it, you know, I could might move up a spot, you know. Somebody call Tiffany, tell her to do some calisthenics. Come on. <laughs> 25 pounds! 25 pounds! With 113 pounds and 11 ounces! Hey! It goes back to back! Back to four times! <laughs> big fat! Yeah, that's funny. That's fucking awesome. That is like the pinnacle of the sport, is what you just did. Man. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. Oh, knock your hat off, Tex Woo! Huh?